Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Git World Delta Seconds? I'm going to run this quick little example, and for the most part, we're not really going to see much of a difference here. The Git World Delta Seconds node is intended to give us the world delta seconds or the world tick time or the world time between each frame but it's going to be modified and adjusted based on global time dilation so let's go ahead and look at the node itself and it's pretty simple it's the git world delta seconds if we right click and type in git world delta we're going to find it under utilities and time and if we read it it basically says returns the frame delta time in seconds adjusted by time dilation so let's go back to our example and see what we mean. What I'm doing here is every tick of this actor, I am printing out our delta time or our time between frame and putting it right here where it says tick delta. And we're going to see it's 0 0.008. If I was to do stat unit and stat FPS, we'll find I'm basically running 120 frames per second, which means each frame is 8 milliseconds. As most things, for frames per second, if we adjust this down to say 60, it's going to roughly double 16 milliseconds, or as you can see, 0 0.017, which is 16.66. And of course, it is further adjustable. 30 frames per second gives us the 33 millisecond number. So we'll go ahead and leave it at 30 for our example. Let me go ahead and shut. Oh, we can leave those on. They'll just, they're half to the side. They're not a big deal. So the delta tick is every time. Our delta is firing, which is 33 milliseconds. We're printing it out. Now the world delta tick right here is coming from our world delta node, and I'm printing it out the same. The difference is if I was to use my buttons here and adjust my world global time dilation. For example, it's now at 0.5. You'll notice some of our things start at reacting slower, and you're going to notice our world delta is going to be adjusted as well. If we move this all the way down to zero, we're now going to see our world delta change to zero, but our tick is still running. Our actual node here is still running. If we were to go to debug, you'll notice it's continually running here. But the actual world seconds, things that use our global time, is stopped currently because I've turned it down using global time dilation. And the world delta, basically how much how much of our tick is given to items per tick per frame is zero. So anything that needs to use a delta in order to run or function, most of your physics things, a timeline, for example, things that rely on the delta tick, it's basically going to take your input tick, multiply it by our world delta and give you back your world, not your world delta, your global time dilation and give you back your world delta. And then your items are actually going to be using your world delta, not your tick delta. And that's why it's a zero. If we were to bump this back up, we'll find it's going to slowly move back up to our proper amount. And of course, if we go over, it's going to go over. And what that basically means is if you need to know, based on your global time dilation, how much something should move each tick, how much you should be multiplying it by, you would use your world delta seconds not your individual tick, because your individual tick is still going to stay the same. It's still firing off every 33 milliseconds. But our world delta, because we've changed our global dilation to two, means you should be moving these things twice as fast, which means your world delta for distance and things like that is going to be doubled. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're working with your global time dilation, if first of all, if you're not working with global time dilation, then your world delta and your tick delta are going to be the same. But if you are working with global time dilation, world delta is going to give you the dilated tick. That's what it does. That's going to go ahead and wrap up our video. Remember, if you need the dilated delta time, use your world delta seconds. 